All right, everybody is listening and going forward. Thanks so much, guys, for joining. Let's go ahead and just get into day one. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flashing you the description, i.e. the active recall question. I will pause for three seconds just so that you in your mind can actually think about it, and then I'll flash the answer. Let's start off with cardiology, and here's our first one. Dilated cardiomyopathy, edema, alcoholism, or malnutrition. All right, this one is going to be wet beriberi. Now, wet beriberi, remember, that's related to a thiamine deficiency, vitamin B1. This is going to essentially present on your USMLE as somebody with heart failure and watch for alcoholism in the vignette. Bounding pulses, wide pulse pressure, a diastolic heart murmur, and head bobbing. Okay, this one is going to be aortic regurgitation. Now, aortic regurgitation, watch for this murmur that is going to be heard best at the right second intercostal space. You're going to have things in your test question related to maybe a Marfan's patient because they have that connective tissue defect that can give them aortic insufficiency. Remember, the wide pulse pressure is going to be because the regurgitation causes increased amounts of preload, and this is going to be a diastolic heart murmur. Why? Because the aortic valve should be closed in diastole, but if it's not, it is pathology, and remember that hand grip is going to also make this murmur louder. Systolic ejection murmur, crescendo, decrescendo. This is going to be your aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis, remember, if it's a patient on your USMLE around 40 years old, that's gonna be because of bicuspid aortic valve. Remember that bicuspid aortic valve gives you early onset aortic stenosis. And you can also get aortic stenosis in the elderly patient. That usually presents as syncope, angina, and dyspnea on your USMLE. All right, continuous machine-like murmur. That's going to be PDA, patent ductus arteriosus. Now remember, rather than saying machine-like, they can put in your test question rumbling, or it is going to be a holosystolic murmur. Remember that this murmur can be heard throughout the percordium and can be also heard in the infraclavicular region. Understand that prostaglandin levels are going to really affect the PDA. You close the PDA with indomethacin. Now remember that if you give indomethacin, that is going to be a COX inhibitor, and thus you're gonna decrease the amount of prostaglandin concentration and subsequently close your PDA. Now, in critical congenital heart disease, you want to make sure that you give prostaglandins. Why is that? Because in critical congenital heart disease, i.e. your cyanotic heart diseases, you need to give prostaglandin analogs to keep the ductus arteriosus open, and thus you can get forward flow. That's very important for you to know. What's the side effect of prostaglandins? That is apnea. Apnea is the side effect of prostaglandins. All right, 